James Jablonski, a Wisconsin 13-year-old, has been missing for more than a month after police say he left home with a family car and possibly his dad's handgun in mid-June. James' last suspected whereabouts were near the Baraboo Bluffs on the western edge of Devil's Lake State Park on June 11th. Here is a little rundown of the timeline. On June 12th, the Yabonski family reported James missing. Authorities found the family car on the side of U.S. Highway 12 near Devil's Lake State Park. Later, the family also reported that a handgun in the home was gone. On June 17th, local law enforcement found several makeshift campsites and some clothing believed to belong to James. It was then officials believed that James was trying to live off the grid as a survivalist. The outlet also reported that two officers had been sent to the hospital for injuries resulting from trying to navigate the Baraboo Bluffs while looking for James. And a little side note here, I know that the first campsite had items that were confirmed to belong to James and the second campsite had the items were apparently not his. There was nothing there that belonged to him, which makes me wonder if it was even anything to do with James, the second campsite, if he was ever there. Another thing that worries me is two officers getting injured trying to navigate the Baraboo Bluffs. How dangerous is it for a 13 year old to be out there by himself, especially in the dark? Okay, moving on to June 25th. His dad, Bill, organized a search effort via Facebook. On June 26, the sheriff, Chip Meester, reported police were focusing energy on patrol searches rather than ground searches. And on July 7th, the sheriff's office released an update that the investigation is still active and that they're still investigating areas of interest near where James went missing. Now, a 13-year-old little boy who took his family's car and the car later being found on the side of the road terrifies me. It makes me think that he ran into someone that did not have good intentions and that he may have been abducted. Uh, I believe he is in grave danger, which means we need to, either way he's in danger, which means we need to keep his name and face out there. Um, I know that his dad, William, is now, he has mortgaged his home to offer a $10,000 reward for tips that bring his son home. So right now, what we can do for James and his family is keep sharing. Keep his name and face out there in the long lot. Uh, there's different things. One is uh, the camp that they found on the side of the road where my cell phone was. It was not his cell phone. He left his cell phone at home. Um, the dogs that they took in there just circled the camp. They didn't go back in the woods like if somebody went back in the woods. That tells me that he went in, waited for somebody possibly to hawk a horn and came back out. He's never been in the woods by himself alone, especially at night, other than going camping. And we go camping three, four or five times a year, but he's never been in the woods overnight. Gosh, I don't know where he would get the idea that he could stay in the woods overnight. That's what another reason that even though he's got the survivalist books and a water bottle with him, I don't know what he has for clothes left because a lot of the clothes and toilet paper and backpacks were left in that first camp they found where my cell phone was. Mm. I just want him home. I love him. Everybody in the family loves him and misses him. We just want him home. His sister's in tears all the time every time we talk about him. Uh, his two older brothers miss him, and we love him, and we just want him home. Um, if somebody is holding him, please let him go and just let him come home. 